Well, that Thrill Cam picture is kind of deceiving because the sun out there looks like it would be a nice day. If yeah. you never go out, it is probably <laughs> a nice day to look at it. Oh, I tell you, this is the kind of cold. You walk outside, Sonia, and it hurts. I mean, it hurts in your face, in your hands, uh, everywhere. Yeah. This will no doubt turn out to be the coldest uh, day from a high temperature standpoint we've ever had in Chicago mm. before it's all over. Yeah. So it's amazing. And we're not out of this cold wave yet. The uh, bad news is sub-zero temperatures are here for another 24 hours, and we do have another bitter night ahead. How bitter? Well, uh, our thinking now is the temperatures will go down to 25 below zero in the inland locations and 18 below at the lakefront with chills tonight from 30 to 65 below. Now, readings may edge up a little bit as clouds begin to spread in toward morning, but boy, it's been downhill uh, pretty much the last 18 hours. We were at minus 5 at 6 o'clock, 13 below at midnight, and 20 below this morning at 6 a.m., but the coldest was yet to come. Normally, we have our coldest by about 6. Turns out we jogged down to about 21 below for the official low, and at that moment, it was 70 below on the wind chill, which has been the coldest chill we've reported. We're now up to a balmy uh, 16 below or in that neighborhood. Uh, these are the low temperatures from our myriad observers around the area. Note the 18 below at the lakefront, 19 below uh, down at Midway, and 20 below at Gary. DuPage had 22 below, 20 below at Joliet, had another Joliet report just in at 23 below. 22 below out at uh, Aurora, but the coldest temperatures go to, uh, uh, honors for them, go to Lake Villa with 26 below, McHenry had 25 below, and Elgin had 26 below. And this is how the temperatures laid out last night across the Midwest on the thermometer. This is without wind chills. Minus 10s uh, stretched virtually the length of Indiana and uh, Illinois. Only the far southern counties were spared, and it was 30 below and lower up to the north. For instance, just north of the Twin Cities, 31 below up by St. Cloud and 32 below up at Duluth. Uh, 21 below, that was the official low in Chicago last night. That was a record all by itself. And look how this dominates the whole global weather scene. This big milky white pool here is what we call the polar vortex. This is the core of the bitterly cold air that forms in the continuous nighttime that uh, plagues the northern sections of our continent at this time of the year. It's clear air pretty much because the moisture is so limited. But look at the lows we expect tonight. There's the 20 below line, and here's 30 below zero up here, with highs today staying below zero from this line north and west. Cold is even plunging into Florida. Only the southwest is warm, but again, those folks have been dealing with an earthquake, so it's not all uh, a silver story out there as well. Now, there have been lake snows on the other side of the lake, but the lake winds are coming across the lake like this instead of going down the length of it. The uh, advantage for folks on the other side of the lake is that doesn't give it as much time, that wind, to pick up water and water vapor and dump it out as snow. So while it's a mess over there, it's blowing around and drifting. It's not as bad as it was. We do have a little snow coming in with a, a burst of warmer air trying to get in here. Tomorrow afternoon, it'll be light snow, and we won't warm up tremendously right away, but by the weekend, we'll be in a thaw. These are noon temperatures, and I guarantee you'll probably never see these again. It's 17 below at the lakefront, 15 below at Midway, 14 below at O'Hare. The water is at 33, but the chill index with 18 mile an hour winds is 56 below, and there's only 1% indoor relative humidity if you don't add moisture. The Siberian Express is the current pattern. This flow comes right down from the Arctic, but our supercomputer models, uh, which accurately forecast the arrival of this a week ahead of time, are pushing the polar vortex out and bringing maritime air in later in the week. And you see the big dome of warm air out here to the west. That's the stuff we'll plug into toward the end of the week and the weekend. So look for temperatures to shoot up after a couple of more cold days. There'll be some snow later tomorrow and early Thursday, but up to 29 Friday, 34 Saturday, and 38 Sunday with maybe rain or mixed precipitation late Sunday and Monday. Not sure we're done with the cold weather winter for the rest of the winter yet, but it certainly looks like we're getting out of this spell rather definitively. 45 degrees warmer by the weekend. Record cold today, minus 8 to minus 12. If the official reading stays below minus 11, it'll be the coldest day ever recorded in Chicago history. Uh, sunny with bitter winds today up northwest, uh, 10 to 23 miles per hour. For tonight, uh, again, brutally cold. Some clouds toward morning, minus 18 to minus 25. The chills will be 30 to 70 below. Winds becoming westerly, and readings may come up a few degrees toward morning as the clouds start in. Tomorrow, clouding over. A little light snow will begin, and we'll have a high of plus two late in the day, but stay below zero much of the day tomorrow, so still a bad day. But by Thursday, we begin to see some change. If 17 is considered change, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds, and then break uh, well into the 20s by Friday and into the 30s by the weekend. So about as dramatic a turnaround as you can get, uh, Sure Sonya. is. Thanks, Tom. Okay.